First up, we have JT Muto making a perfect pick and then throw behind the runner at second base to nail Freddie Freeman. It's easy to assume a ball like that might get past the catcher, but Muto made it look easy. Next up, we have Wilson Contreras picking a 102 mile an hour fastball in the dirt and then coming up athletically to make sure that if a runner tried to advance there, he would have absolutely no chance. Just look at that. That's a one in a million scoop right there. Here's Martin Maldonado making a diving catch on a foul tip behind the plate. The amount of awareness it takes to not only recognize that the ball's in the air, but then to make a diving catch is crazy. Here's Gary Sanchez, who's not exactly known for his defense behind the plate, making an amazing reaction play on a ball that went past him to the wall at 100 miles per hour, then following it up with a perfect throw to third base. Here's former MVP Buster Posey not only blocking a ball in the dirt, but then making a perfect sidearm throw to second to nail Jose Reyes, he of the over 500 career steals by a mile. It's no wonder Giants pitchers loved having him back there so much. Here's Travis Darno making a diving catch on a bunt pop-up. This reminds me of the Maldonado play, as just being able to pick up the ball off the bat was impressive, but having the athleticism to dive at the end, even more so. Speaking of the Maldonado play, here's Matt Wieters catching a foul tip barehanded to complete the strikeout. That's gotta feel terrible for the hitter, but pretty awesome for the pitcher. Here's Russell Martin, the former Gold Glover, making one of the most athletic plays you'll ever see from a catcher. That didn't look like it would be close at first, but it ended up being the first out of the inning. Here's amazing defensive catcher Austin Hedges making a pure reaction play, scooping a slider in the dirt in a manner you probably wouldn't teach, but was effective regardless. Here's Martin again, this time running down the right side, not making a catch, but showing off insane reflexes to pick up where he was, then make a successful jump into the dugout without hurting himself. Here's a ridiculous pick and throw from James McCann on a 96 mile an hour fastball to nail Steven Souza at first base. That gave him a chance to show off both his soft hands and that rifle of an arm he's had since he made his debut in 2015. Here's Joe Maurer making a no look catch off of a foul ball that ricocheted off the backstop. He may have become a first baseman later due to concussion issues, but this is just one of the plays that shows how good his instincts were behind the dish. Here's Romuto again, first making a nice lunging play on a bunt, then following it up with a throw to first that turned a successful sacrifice bunt into an insanely impressive athletic looking double play. Here's Eric Haas having not only read the pop up off the bat of Jason Hayward, but then track it well down the third baseline before simply outrunning it, making a nice sliding play to finish it off. Here's Christian Vasquez picking an 85 mile per hour slider that bounced probably 5 feet in front of the plate, then throwing a perfect strike to second to nail the runner. Here's Yadier Molina doing something very similar, but this time on a pickoff to first base. The only thing unlikable about that clip is the 240p quality. Remember how I said Joe Maurer had a number of plays that showed off his awesomeness behind the plate? Here's another, this time reacting on a ground ball that went off the pitcher to make a diving tag to keep a game tied in the ninth. How about one more Real Muto play for good measure, this time him catching a ball without looking between a batter's legs. The more you check out that play, the crazier it gets. And lastly, check out John Ryan Murphy cleanly picking two breaking balls in a row, one with the scoop and one with the backhand. Even one of those would have been impressive, but two, back to back, that's just crazy.